Welcome to this video on decisions, control flow, if, else, and elif in Python. Basically, we're going to be looking at something called conditional logic, which is absolutely key and one of the most important things that you'll learn as you learn how to program in Python. Now, if you think about life, you use the terms if and else all the time. So, for instance, you might say, if you give me chocolate, I'll be your friend, else, goodbye. Or you might say, if you're a teacher, you can enter the staff room, else you cannot. If you score an A, you might get a reward, etc. Or you could have, you could divide up your if, ifs. It's not just two conditions. You could say, if you score an A, you get a reward, else if you scored a B, you get a sticker, else if you scored an F, you get a phone call home. Now in Python, this elif command is just basically else if. So when you see the elif, it just means else if. And the if and the else mean exactly what they suggest they mean. So how do if statements work in Python? First of all, remember that indentation matters. So you must remember the syntax, which is the way, the, the wording, and also the structure in Python. So if you're writing an if statement, everything inside an if statement is indented. And also, the if and the else, or the if and the elif, must be on the same line. Otherwise, it won't work. Feel free to pause and analyze the code. When you have multiple conditions to select from, you then use elif, which, as I said, is a bit like else if. Again, if you look over here, you can see that you have if, elif, elif, and they're all on the same line, and everything inside is indented. Don't forget that after you have an if statement, you also have a colon, and without that, it wouldn't work. You can think of hundreds of examples in which if, elif statements are used in programming for game design, even for, you know, simple login scripts for Facebook or Google. So these are key things for you to learn. Here's another example. Feel free to pause the screen and look at how it works. This will definitely help you as you're going along and attempting the tasks. So if password is student, then you go to the student function. Elif, if the password that they put in is teacher, then take them to the teacher command, uh, teacher function rather. Even more interestingly, if the, if the password that they put in is headmaster, take them to a function called headmaster. The if and elif statements are going to allow you to great, add much greater functionality to your code and do all kinds of things. As just mentioned, using the if and elif, you can actually have conditions by which you can jump to other functions. Parameter passing is a very important and key concept that you're going to look at as you delve much deeper and go into a bit more advanced programming in Python. But just to mention it very briefly, parameters are the A and the B. So really, you could think of them as variables. They're sometimes called arguments. And you can actually pass variables to a function, like so. So in this case, we're passing the parameters A and B to this function, and then we can actually return a value such as a plus b, which simply sums or adds these two values together. You can think of the game Minecraft, in which if statements are used all the time. Again, it's just to emphasize the fact that if statements, conditional logic, is extremely important in programming. So let's have an ex look at an example. If I had a main function, which I define, such as the main, let's call it the main menu. I might write something like, let's have a little menu, press one, two, play, press two, two, quit. A really simple menu which says that. Now, how do I get it to actually work? Well, first of all, I'm going to create my play function. 
And I could also create my quit function. Using conditional logic or if statements, I can get the user to press 1 or 2, and if they press 1, they jump to play, if, not the words if and else, if they press 1, they jump to play, if they press 2, they jump to the quit function. So let's have a look at how that's done. You would simply write, first you need to allow for user input, so choice is equal to input, enter choice. The user will either put in 1 or 2, and you say that if the choice, now remember this has got to be an integer, because it's not going to work. So if the choice they put in is 1, jump to the play function. Else, or you could even say elif, choice is equal to 2, jump to the quit function. If they put in something else, you could write make the correct choice. Let's see if this works. If I put in 3, it says make the correct choice. However, if I put in 1, it jumps to the play function. And similarly, if I press in, press 2, or enter 2 on the keyboard, it says you have quit. This is a simple use of if and elif. There will be situations in which you use the if function to compare. So I might say x is equal to 3, y is equal to 5. And I might say if x is greater than y, now it's not, is it? So let's, let's make it simple and say yes, in this case x is greater than y, then print yes greater, else print no, it is smaller. So in this case, x is greater than y, but if I changed it, it would say no, it is smaller. So this is using a comparison, and again, we're using the clever little if. Feel free to go back over this video and pause at any point, and you should now be able to go through the tasks, solve them, and finally get to the final challenge.